ஹலோ எவ்ரிவன் வெல்கம் டு மை யூடியூப் சேனல் லாஜிக் மெடிக்கோ டுடேஸ் இன்ட்ரெஸ்டிங் டாபிக் ஃபார் ஸ்டடி இஸ் டெவலப்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் த ஃபேஸ் அண்ட் வாட் ஆர் த கஞ்சனேட்டல் அனாமலிஸ் இன்வால்வ் இன் த டெவலப்மெண்ட் ஆஃப் த ஃபேஸ் ஸோ இஃப் யூ ஆர் நியூ டு மை சேனல் கைண்ட்லி சப்ஸ்கிரைப் டு மை சேனல் அண்ட் ப்ரெஸ் த பெல் பட்டன் டு கெட் த லேட்டஸ்ட் நோட்டிஃபிகேஷன் ஆஃப் த வீடியோஸ் அண்ட் சி த ஃபுல் வீடியோ அண்ட் லைக் அண்ட் ஷேர் வித் த வீடியோ வித் யோர் ஃப்ரெண்ட்ஸ் The development of the face, I will do it in the following heading. Diagrammatically, for better understanding, the first 4 minutes I will finish the development of face diagrammatically. In next 4 minutes, I will try to explain in the form of notes so that it becomes easy for you to replicate in the exam. And last but not the least, anomalies with the actual embryological basis for the anomalies. So, these are the objectives for today's presentation. so let's starts with the first one development of the face diagrammatically so this is the head fold of the embryo and this is the tail fold of the embryo this happens around the fourth week of intrauterine life between the two there is a one pericardial bulge the junction between the head fold and the pericardial bulge is called the stomatodium so the development of the face occurs around this four four gut area the four gut is that part of the yolk sac within the head fold of the embryo it is a yolk sac okay the depressed area here is called the stomatodium or the primitive mouth so it happens in the foregut area near the stomatodium or the primitive mouth okay so what happens near the stomatodium if you see head on okay if you see the embryo from head on there is one process coming from above one median process coming from above giving rise to the forehead and the nose so we call it as fronto nasal process whereas the other two processes there are paired processes comes below the stomatodium or the primitive mouth and that is called as mandibular processes you can see this fronto nasal processes is going downwards and mandibular processes are going towards one another they are growing towards one another in such a way it, the stomatodium gets separated from the pericardial bulge and also this mandibular arch and subsequently the other branchial arches pushes the heart which was there in the future neck area into the thoracic cavity isn't it interesting so what is the process fronto nasal process and a pair of mandibular process grows around the primitive mouth so this fronto nasal process lower end develops a pit it's called the nasal pit okay so fronto nasal process develops what nasal pit because of the nasal pit can you see this yellow colored area this is called a medial nasal process and this blue colored area is called lateral nasal process so what is exactly medial and lateral nasal process the lower end of the fronto nasal process develops one pit called nasal pit medial to that will be medial nasal process lateral to that will be lateral nasal process they are just an elevations around the pit okay and what happens these two mandibular processes unite with one another in the midline giving rise to the lower jaw that is mandible and the lower lip it's very simple the two mandibular process unites with one another to give rise to the lower jaw and the lower lip and the same mandibular process the dorsal and cephalic margin of the mandibular process gives rise to one more process this new color brownish maroon color is the one brownish color this one is called maxillary process initially the eyes are oriented laterally for the embryo but this maxillary process will push this fronto nasal process and squeeze this area so that this eyes will be oriented anteriorly in humans otherwise even in humans we'll have a broad forehead and nose like a horse or a buffalo or a cow okay but in humans because of this maxillary process will grow medially from the mandibular process it pushes and squeezes the lower end of the fronto nasal process which you can see next up this lower end of the fronto nasal process can you see this maxillary process growing further pushing the eye medially see ultimately the eye is placed medially so this is the most important change which happens here at the 8th week of intrauterine life the maxillary process grows upwards and medially okay point number 1 first it fuses with the lateral nasal process to complete the formation of the cheek then it grows further medially to touch the medial nasal process simultaneously what is happening the two medial nasal processes which are far away from one another will now fuse with one another giving rise to the philtrum of the upper lip or the depressed area in the upper lip is given rise by the medial nasal processes 
whereas the entire cheek and the lateral portions of the upper lip is given rise by maxillary process during this time when the maxillary process fuses with the lateral nasal process a part of ectoderm gets embedded to give rise to a duct which connects your lacrimal sac to the nose it's called naso lacrimal duct wherein the tears are flowing into the nose therefore when we cry the nose becomes stuffy so ultimately in summary the fronto nasal process give rise to the entire forehead the upper eyelids the entire nose and the filter of the upper lip so this nose area that's fronto nasal only now divide into medial nasal process which contributes to the nasal septum and the filter of the upper lip and a part of the primitive palate that is a wedge shape area carrying the upper four inches are also the lateral nasal process contributes to the formation of the lateral wall of the nose the maxillary process contributes to the cheek entire cheek the lower eyelids and the lateral portions of the upper lip whereas the mandibular processes contributes to the lower jaw and the lower lip by default it's understood maxillary process contributes to upper jaw so face ultimately derives from five processes a fronto nasal process a single one a pair of maxillary process and a pair of mandibular process the modification of fronto nasal is called as medial nasal and lateral nasal process so same thing in, in the form of now diagrammatically i have finished now in the form of notes i will tell you so that you can write well in the exam so development of the face where does it happen area around the primitive mouth or the stomatodium where depressed area of foregut near the foregut area at what week fourth week of intrauterine life so it develops from how many processes totally fine number but their names are only three what are they a median fronto nasal process a pair of maxillary process a pair of mandibular process so all these processes develops around the stomatodium we'll see that one more time this one fronto nasal process mandibular process and this green color is maxillary process so the lower end of the fronto nasal process two pits will develop they are called as nasal pits so that forms that give rise to medial nasal process and lateral nasal process so the median nasal process of both sides unite to form the filtrum of the upper lip the depressed area of the upper lip whereas the maxillary process continues to grow and pushes the eye from lateral position to more anterior and then this maxillary process will squeeze the lower end of the fronto nasal process it contributes to the upper jaw cheek and the lower eyelid the maxillary process contribution in the formation of the cheek also when the maxillary process unites with the lateral nasal process it forms a duct called as naso lacrimal duct which connects the lacrimal sac with the inferior meatus of the nose nose Initially, this duct is a solid cord of cells. Later, it undergoes canalization. So, this canal will form within the duct. So, it connects the lacrimal sac with the inferior meatus of the nose. Therefore, tear from the lacrimal sac drains into your nose. Every minute, one ml will get drained back into the nasal pharynx. But if there is a tsunami, if there is an emotional outbreak, then it starts pouring down. If there is infection, rhinitis also it starts pouring out. It is common cold. the mandibular process is very easy the two mandibular process unite with one another in the midline contributing to the lower jaw and the lower lip in summary the face is developed from five processes a median fronto nasal process a pair of maxillary process and a pair of mandibular process what does the fronto nasal process contribute to forehead the entire nose nasal septum nasal cavity and the depressed area of the upper lip which is called as filtrum then cheeks upper jaw upper lip is contributed by the maxillary process including the lower eyelid okay then lower jaw and lower lip is contributed by mandibular process okay this is a summary of the development of the face so same thing diagrammatically okay fronto nasal process maxillary process mandibular process Coming to the last topic, that is anomalies of the development of face. So, what if the there is a cleft like this obliquely in, in the face? We call it as oblique facial cleft. Why does it happen? Can you guess? 
failure of fusion of this process what is it? maxillary process with lateral nasal process results in a formation of a cleft which is obliquely oriented it is called oblique facial cleft here the nasolacrimal duct is exposed to the exterior okay it will be visible to you to the exterior next anomaly of the face is hair lip a detailed video i have done on the cleft lip and development of the lip you can see that video link will be there in the description as well as in the eye icon so the failure of fusion of the two median nasal processes give rise to median cleft lip whereas the failure of fusion of the maxillary process with median nasal process give rise to lateral cleft lip that can be only one side like this it's called unilateral or that can be both sides like this it's called bilateral so cleft lip is also called hair lip failure of fusion of the medial nasal process with maxillary process causes cleft lip either unilateral or bilateral okay if the medial nasal process of both sides fails to unite in the midline that is median cleft lip okay next is condition is called cleft mandible failure of fusion of the mandibular process of both the sides so this beneath the tongue there will be a huge cleft so the oral cavity is visible to the exterior and this cleft is there in the lower jaw and the lower lip in the midline only okay it's called cleft mandible the cleft in the lower lip is also possible it is extremely rare but it is possible it also happens only in the midline it is due to failure of the fusion of the upper margin of the mandibular processes so there will be cleft only in the lower lip in the midline that is called cleft in the lower lip next condition is called macrostomia stoma refers to mouth if the mouth is really big we call it as macrostomia what happens usually normally the maxillary process in addition to uniting with this lower part of this fronto nasal process that is lateral nasal process it also fuses simultaneously with the mandibular process so that the angle of the mouth which was wider becomes normal in position that is it, it, it gets keeps on getting fused so that the angle of the mouth is shifted more medially but if at all there is a failure of fusion of the maxillary process with the mandibular process then there will be a huge cleft oriented like this in the face it's called transverse facial cleft okay or it can also be called as macrostomia because the mouth becomes the oral fissure becomes big therefore it's called macrostomia the opposite is microstomia micro means small here the child has got a very small mouth resembling a fish mouth that is due to excessive fusion between maxillary process with the mandibular process shifting the angle of the mouth more medially it appears just beneath the nostrils the mouth is there so this kind of mouth is called microstomia the embryological reason for this is excessive fusion of maxillary with the mandibular process shifting the angle of the mouth more medially okay like and share this video with your family and friends don't forget to press the thumbs up button subscribe to my channel if you are not yet done and kindly press the bell button to get the latest notification of all the videos which i upload thank you once again watching the full video share this knowledge with your friends don't forget to like thank you